and both of them can be achieved using two of the given three tables hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we are done with the select basic joins basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping and advanced select and joins we are currently working on sub queries and finally we'll be ending with advanced string functions rejection clauses in this video we are going to solve this question called movie rating and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 39 video of this series called movie rating and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so sap let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called movies with two different columns movie id which is an integer data type and title which is a variable character movie id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table title is the name of the movie then we are also given a second table called users with again two different columns user id again integer data type and name variable character user id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table we are also given a third table called movie rating with four different columns movie id user id rating all of of them being integer data type and created at which is a date the combined columns movie id and user id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table this table contains the rating of a movie by a user in their review created at is the user's review date okay we are asked to write a solution to find the name of the user who has rated the greatest number of movies in case of a tie return the lexicographically smaller username so basically arranged in ascending order secondly we are also required to return the movie name with the highest average rating in february of 2020 in case of a tie return the lexicographically smaller movie name okay so here in this question we need to have two different outputs and the result format is in the following example so let's go through this example so here we have three different movies and four different people and various ratings of, of various movies so let's look at firstly which user has rated the maximum amount of movies user id 1 has rated uh, three movies user id 2 has rated three movies user id 3 has rated two movies user id 4 has rated one movie so two users user id 1 and 2 daniel and monica have rated three each but it says that in case of a tie we need to arrange this in ascending order arrange the names in the ascending order and return the first one or the smallest one so for this particular part daniel is what we need in our output the user which has the greatest number of movies okay then we also need to get the highest average rating in february of 2020 so movie id 1 has 4 plus 2 so 6 divided by 2 is 3 so average movie rating of movie id 1 is 3 then for a movie id 2 in february of 2020 we have 5 plus 2 7 divided by 2 that is 3 and a half and then for movie id 3 we have 3 plus 4 7 divided by 2 that is 3 and a half so there are two movies movie id 3 and 2 which have 3 and a half movie rating so movie id 2 and 3 is frozen 2 and joker now lexicographically f comes before j so frozen 2 should be in our output so daniel and frozen 2 should be in our output and that is what we have in our output so in, to solve this question we need to firstly have one query which gets the first part and then another query which gets the second part and we need to perform a union so what we need to do is from firstly we need to find out user who has rated the greatest number of movies so to do that we need to join these two tables to get different users and their names and the number of times they have rated it so for example if i go ahead and write from this table called movie rating and let me alias this m and left to join the table called users aliased as u on m dot user id is equal to u dot user id and if i go ahead and return all the columns although that is not required but let's see what do we have in our output so let me go ahead and run this uh, drag it above to the left okay so if i look at my output so we have this uh, movie id user id rating created at then user ids and the names attached to it now we need to find out the person which has rated the highest number of movies so what we can do is we can go ahead and group by so group by 
the name column name column is coming from users table so u dot name and then we can return u dot name let me just drag it below u dot name and let's count the number of distinct movies each has rated so distinct movie id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so now if we look at it we have daniel has rated three movies monica has three maria has two and james has one so obviously we need to keep the ones who have rated the most and that to in lexicographic manner so we can go ahead and do order by so order by this count right so order by this count so copy this in decreasing manner in decreasing manner and in case there is a tie then you arrange by the name in ascending order so if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we have so now if we look at it our output is so name and count number of movies they have rated if there is a tie so daniel comes before monica now in our output we need only the name right and this column is aliased as results so let me go ahead and remove this part because we do not need the count part in our output so let me alias this as results and then we are only required to keep the first per person right so limit one let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so now we have the first value that is results and daniel so this is the person who has rated the maximum number of movies now let's go ahead and try to find out this part we can keep keep this entire thing into parenthesis because this is one of the results that we got right one of the results that we got okay now we also need to have so let me just start writing for the uh, movie that has the highest average rating in february of 2020 so now to do that what we can do is again perform a join of movie rating but this time on the movie column so that we need to get the because in the output we need the title so what we can do is from this table called movie rating alias this as m1 let me left to join the movies table alias as m2 on m1 dot movie id is equal to m2 dot movie id and if i go ahead and do okay but when we left join we only need to keep those rows which are created at february of 2020 so we learned about this previously in the series how can we format the date so here if you look at this part right let me just drag it on the right so here we need to make sure that we are only considering those rows where created at has year 2020 and month as 02 so to do that we can keep only those rows where date format date format of the column created at is only so percentage capital y is ca keep the year in y y y y format and then dash and then percentage small m so so 0 1 2 1 2 month okay this is equal to 20 let me just left drag it so that it's easier uh is equal to 2020 february so this will only keep the february of 2020 rows and then we need to group by right so if i group by group by the movie name because in the output we need the movie name right frozen 2 so movie name will come from the movies table because if you look at the movies table you have the title here so we can write m2 dot title and in our output we need the title so return m2 dot title and then this should be ordered by average of rating so order by average of rating rating comes from the movie rating table so it is m1 dot rating so it will order by average so maximum average should come first so this decreasing manner and then if there is a tie then by movie title so m2 dot title in ascending order okay now this will give you all those values arranged by average in descending order in case of a tie by title in ascending order but we are only required to keep one value so limit 
1 and then all both these queries their results will be populated and then if i go ahead and do union all okay so basically get a result from this query get a result from this query and union them so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so let me drag it above so now this is an accepted if i look at my output my output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it so if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes medium difficulty and the solution does look like very big but the thing is it's not very difficult because in our output we need two different solutions and both of them can be achieved using two of the given three tables and that is why firstly we found out okay which user has the greatest number of movies and then we also find out which movie has the highest average in february of 2020 and then we union the results so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video